Neil Kotzenmacher always dreamed of becoming a pilot. I grew up just 10 miles southeast of the Minneapolis-St. Paul area, right under one of their approaches. So I would always see airplanes flying over my head. Neil's dream took flight when he was accepted into the aviation program at the University of North Dakota where he would begin the journey of transforming his lifelong fascination with the skies into a professional calling. These students, and pilots in general, their personality, their personhood is really caught up in aviation. But quickly, Neil recognized that something was wrong. I wasn't functioning properly. I wasn't grasping information as easily as I used to. Generalized anxiety disorder is a mental health condition where persistent feelings of fear and worry become excessive and out of a person's control. For those living with GAD, everyday challenges become amplified. For pilots, the stakes can be even higher. Admitting the mental health concerns or seeking treatment can mark the end of a career. You can imagine how terrifying that would be to have a health condition come up and realize, wow, I might lose my, my dream. Pilots are not speaking up because they are afraid that they are going to lose their FAA medical. That would probably put their career on hold. Aviation is a very macho profession. So you have these students coming in that fear getting help is just not worth the risk. Neil began to worry he had spent years pursuing a career that may be out of reach, and he's not alone. A 2016 study found that more than one in 10 pilots met the criteria for clinical depression, with one in 25 experiencing suicidal thoughts in the past two weeks. Those numbers are notably higher than in the general population. There's not very many people out there who are willing to speak up about the stigma pilots are going through. Putting safety and mental health ahead of his career, Neil stepped out of the cockpit. This is an expensive road to get to the point where you are in the room or you are in the cockpit. And for students who might experience depression or anxiety, that's thousands of dollars that they are having to repay to get the same degree. UND has pioneered mental health support for aviation students by embedding a dedicated psychologist into their programs and launching Uplift, a confidential support service. The goal is to help students develop robust mental health practices and succeed in the demanding world of aviation. There's been a lot of progress in the last five years. They've made several regulation changes that allow for more minor conditions allow for therapy, allow for several more medications. And that's a huge step in a very short period of time. Neil shared his mental health journey on LinkedIn. His post detailed his diagnosis. Unexpectedly, the post went viral, reaching far beyond the aviation community. People from around the world responded including fellow pilots who had been afraid to seek help for fear of losing their careers. I am not the only one who was dealing with an issue as big as this. By documenting his path, Neil offered proof that pilots can get mental health treatment and still return to the cockpit. After a year and a half of treatment, Neil was ready to chase his dream once again. The first flight was nerve wracking. It's been so long, a year and a half, since I ever flew. Students have a lot of responsibility and they're brand new adults fresh out of high school. That's really hard for any person, let alone a brand new adult. I think we're making progress. 
there are people out there that want to help you, that want to get you back in the cockpit. The future of aviation is changing. With increased support for mental health and a growing understanding that pilots are humans first, Institutions like the University of North Dakota are leading the way, creating supportive environments where students can seek help without fear. It has taken me a lot of effort to get to this point where I am, and I am quite proud of myself. I feel like a normal person again. At the end of 525 days, I told them that I am ready to continue flying again. There are other students out there that are probably going through this. I feel great about flying again. You only have one life, so you might as well make the most of it.